eight o'clock is always the time we start this, and I hate starting calls late because you guys have taken the time to be here on time. And I think out of respect for your time, it's only fair that we start this exactly on time. Monday nights for the last 14 months, uh, no, it's more than that now, 16 months now, that I've been involved with IM Academy, Monday nights have always been a fantastic time because we've always had the help and support of our upline mentor from Salt Lake City in Utah. From someone who's been there and done it, he's been through every single thing that you've been through, he's had those problems and he's beaten every single one of them and taken it right to the top, but he still doesn't stop. He puts relentless amounts of time and effort into it and he's here to support us every step of the way. He's Chairman 50, soon to be Chairman 100, Brandon Boyd. Brandon, over to you, my friend. Awesome. Well, Roger and, and everyone, thanks for having me on. Happy holidays to everybody here. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, definitely excited for this week and going to take some days off myself. Tomorrow will be my last day that I'm doing uh, webinars and go lives and stuff like that. But I'm excited uh, for today to show you guys some things that, that I've been working on. And, and a lot for the past month or two, we've been talking about motivation and inspiration, really how to motivate people. So I put together a training that hopefully and this will work with trading. And it will work with the business building side as well. So I'm going to do a share screen with you guys here real quick. And hopefully you're in a position where you can actually take some notes. Um, that way that you can actually apply what it is that I teach, because most people forget what they've learned in a very short period of time. Uh, so one of the questions that I get asked all the time is, how do you motivate your team? How do you keep people going so that you're not just babysitting your team? Some people kind of look like this when you're, you know, when you think about team members, sometimes it kind of seems like this, doesn't it? you know, where people are just kind of, they're either scrolling social media or having a hard time staying awake. How do you get people to really get up? How do you get people that are fired up? How do you get people to take actions and have those daily rituals and those habits that they need to be successful? So how in the heck can you actually motivate your team members? And I want to give you some steps here. Number one is you got to have a process. You got to have a system for people to follow. You got to have something that's duplicatable, something that's systematic. System stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. If you don't have a system that can be run by people that are even very young, you don't have something that's duplicatable. I've told people for years, you don't do what works, you do what duplicates. You got to have a process and a system for people to follow. Otherwise, if it's reliant on a person and that person goes away, what you have is going to crumble. Okay, so you got to have a process, plug into something that is already working. You got to teach to teach so you can go to the beach. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You have to be able to put yourself in a position where every time that you take a, a holiday, okay, your volume doesn't just go down, okay? If it goes down, then that means it's person reliant. Now, if you're gone for a long time, there, maybe there's some understanding why it could go away. But at, at the end of the day, you want to be a very good teacher with your people because you want to train them well so that they become you and even better. So I teach my people very well so that they can actually do what I do and even go past that. I want my people bec to become more successful. That means that I've done a good job of training them. Now I have thousands and thousands of customers. I have many chairmen that are actually on my team and hopefully I've done a good job of actually teaching them and providing a system for them to be successful. Let me give you an example. I met with a guy right before this uh, pandemic he was a platinum 2000. Today, he's a chairman 10. He said that one meeting changed his life. Well, it wasn't just the one meeting. It is the system that we plugged him into after that meeting took place. Otherwise, he just would have been motivated for a few days, maybe inspired. But that system that we plugged him into has made a difference. Now, the other thing I want to mention as far as motivation is we need to forget motivation. Okay, we don't need to be motivated. I don't need to be motivated to get out of bed every day, okay? Your why, your goals, and the reason why you do this gets you out of bed. The daily rituals and habits that you establish, that's what gets you up. Now, I've had people say, Brandon, you say forget more, you know, motivation, but why do you do morning motivation? Well, the bottom line is everybody needs personal development, right? It's good to be listening and reading good information every day. But if you are reliant on motivation to get you going, you need to realize most people are not motivated. Action solves many problems. Okay, taking action. Now, 
taking the right action solves a lot of problems. So forget motivation because motivation follows action. When you take action, you will find yourself getting more motivated. There are certain days that when I wake up, I don't necessarily want to go to the gym and work out, but I go anyway. And guess how I feel when I'm done? I feel great. I'm glad that I went. Now, if it was reliant on me being motivated, instead of going five or six days a week, I might go once or twice. Not every day do I feel motivated to go, but I go because it is a habit. It's a daily ritual. It is something that you do. In fact, you don't even need to think about it. It becomes a part of who you are. You do it anyway, and you don't need the motivation, okay? Never assume that people know what to do. This is a big mistake that a lot of people make. When new people come in, they think that just because they've been with some other company that they know what to do here. That's not true. This company is a lot different than another company they've been a part of a lot of the time. So you want to teach them how to teach your people and how to plug into that system. See, a mistake that I made a long time ago is that when people joined and they said, hey, I did this before I was doing this, or I was really successful in that. I actually assumed that they were going to be successful and come to find out they couldn't even sign up one or two people. Well, what I realized was what we're doing is different than maybe what they've been a part of. So it's important to plug everybody, no matter who they are, into the system. Let me give an example of this. I had a guy who recently joined my team in Asia. He's from World Ventures. Now, as you can imagine, World Ventures with a travel club is a lot different than I am Mastery Academy. So I did not assume that because he has over a, you know, a million customers, that all of a sudden he's going to duplicate that exact same success here. Now, I hope that he does. But here's what I can tell you. We've plugged him into our exact, exact system that we're using. He has created 11 ranks in three weeks, and he just hit P2000 yesterday. This guy's going to go up the ranks of many chairmen. okay? Don't assume that just because they've been a part of something that they know what to do. He needs the help. Everybody needs the help. We all need that process. We all need that system to plug into, and so do our people, okay? You want to have a fast start system so they can fall and plug in. When I say fast start, people need to get off to a fast start. The reason is because today a lot of people have microwave mentality. They want instant results, right? They want, they want to get those results, but they don't necessarily want to be in the ring every day, okay? So you need to have something they can kind of quickly go through to get that information, that they can follow and start plugging in today. So I get people off to a very fast start from day one. I don't waste any time. I wanna make sure that the person gets going because it's just like with exercise. If they don't start seeing results soon, they will stop showing up. That is the bottom line. And I'm not being negative, I'm positive. They'll stop showing up. People need to start seeing results very soon. So get them off to a fast start and again, don't assume that they know what to do from the beginning. Teach them how to locate the training. This is important as well. Sometimes we just think we can throw somebody inside of a back office and all of a sudden that they're going to be able to find all the stuff. No, give people stuff in bite size. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Okay, if you just give them the whole thing and say, hey, here's I am dot center. There's 172 videos to watch. Good luck. They're like, man, I ain't got time for this. I got a full time job and a family. Teach people how to locate the training and give them the stuff in bite size and get the questions answered. When you get the questions answered, always give them the reference. So when I answer questions that people ask me, I typically answer the question and then I send them the video reference for it afterwards so that they know for future reference where to find it. Okay. And again, that's how you teach the teach so you can go to the beach is you're creating a system that's duplicatable, something that's running 24 hours a day. Okay. Now, another way to motivate your team is get people to events. It fires people up. Now, we know with the pandemic, it's been a little bit more of a challenge, but guess what? A Zoom that you're on right now is an event, okay? A, some type of conference call. These are events. So until we can get back in person, get people to events. Get them on Go Live. Get them on the Zoom calls. Get them on the chairman mentorship call, okay? These are all events that take place. Events change lives. People make big decisions at events. It's not, you know what? I watched that video and that video changed my life. We know that most people don't watch the videos anyway. But what do they say? I went to that Tony Robbins event or I went to GoPro. 
I had a guy who was becoming quite frustrated on the team. He went to the Eric Worre GoPro event. He saw the speakers. He saw David Amenitier. He saw Alex Morton. He saw our other leaders speak, Matt Rose and the rest. And guess what? Not only did he get refired up, but he said he's going to hit chairman 50 in 2021. He's almost a chairman already, but he was getting really discouraged. I can tell you if I'd said to him, just watch this video, he would not be fired up right now. It was an event. It was an appointment to show up to. He showed me his goals. His leaders are fired up. They've made new commitments and they're having me on a call December 30th with myself, Jason, Alex, and Chris Terry to give a message for 2021. So I can tell you, events change lives. In 1999, when I first got in the industry, it was an event that I went to in Provo, Utah, that changed it for me. Had they just sent me a CD or an audio or something like that, I probably would not have joined. It was an event that I went to that I made the decision. So that's why I tell people the Zoom calls like we've got right now, these are events. There's mindset events, there's product events, there's business building events, there's fast start system events, right? There's these leadership events. These events are going on all of the time, okay? And so guys, these are some of the keys that I've personally used that I've had success with each and every week, month, and year that I've done this. And again, remember for yourself, say to yourself that I act in spite of my mood. That is your prosperity pillar for the day. I act in spite of my mood. So I don't get, my mood says, I don't want to do a whole lot of things. I want to sit around and veg. Well, welcome to the club. A lot of people want to sit around and do a whole lot of nothing. Welcome to the club. That's most people. But guess what? You are not most people. You are the 1%. While everyone else is chowing down on ice cream and cake over Christmas, you are the difference maker. You might say, okay, I'm going to have some, but I'm going to have half of what I normally have right? While everyone is sitting around just watching movies, you might swap out that movie for something that's going to grow and expand your mind. You see what I'm saying? So you are the difference maker. And so you motivate yourself. You can't motivate your people if you yourself are not motivated. You need to become the most motivated person in your group and on your team. If you're focused on trading, be the most consistent, motivated person with trading. Guess what? Always keep it positive. The last thing that we want to do is tell me, I lost this trader. This has been a bad week or whatever. Remember, you set the tone. You are the one that sets the tone. You want to be known as the hardest worker with the best attitude, okay? People don't see me get down on team. Can you believe that? And this happened. This is not working. I can't log in. What's going on? Go live. It crashed. People are moaning and groaning all the time. If you want to be a leader, that is not something that you do. Get motivated yourself. Have daily rituals have the habits and actually stick to something for once stick to something for once right make the commitment in 2021 there's no more start stop start stop start stop stick to something for crying out loud be consistent have the daily rituals and go all the way and you'll have the best year of your life so roger with that i'll go ahead and turn it back to you man thanks brandon i appreciate that and and there's so much there that people needed to hear, you know, it, because it, this really is about having some kind of commitments and just just going for it. There was something that Brandon said when he was talking about motivating your team. And I, I always go back to Zig Ziglar when it comes to motivating your team, because Zig Ziglar said you, you can't motivate people. You know, I see people who they get someone in, into their team, they find one or maybe two people. And then they try and sort of hold them and cuddle them and force them almost to become, you know, to stick to this business. You cannot motivate people. If you want a team that's motivated, find motivated people. Just go and find more people. That's what this business is about. We're all about finding more people. Now, having said that, you don't have to force anyone to do anything that they don't want to do. We have an unbelievable company and it's the weirdest thing simon and i you guys know that simon and i talk three four five ten times a day and week after week for 16 months we say this is the most exciting company i've ever been a part of 
And the pair of us got 30 years each in this industry. Sam has got more years than me, 30 years each. This is the most exciting company I've ever been a part of. 2020 has been, I, I came into 2020 a little bit nervous, to be honest with you, because in the last week of 2019, we took a big bath when it came to trading. We made some horrendous mistakes. And that was down to, and it was our fault. We were doing dumb things, but we, we didn't know any better. And Brandon, you know, Brandon supported us all the way through it, but didn't turn around and try to correct us when we wanted to go off piste and do something. A true leader lets you make your mistakes as well and then supports you when you make a mistake. And that's exactly what he did. We came into it, we made our mistakes and we learned from our mistakes. And then we came into 2020 a little bit nervous, but we've got to we've got to take it on board because it was our mistakes. So we owned the mistakes and we came into it. I will tell you now, 2020 has been the best year of trading that I've ever had. I've been trading for six years now. This is the first year, this is the year I became consistent. And that is purely down to IM Academy. And it's down to the people that we have, the educators that we have, the system that we have. Plug into the system and just take, there is a, a lifetime of knowledge shared from so many people. There, there is hundreds and probably thousands of years of knowledge from all the educators that we've got. Use it because 2021 can be something absolutely and utterly spectacular to, for you. As far as events are concerned, when Brandon was talking about the Zooms, the Zooms that we're now doing here in the UK, we started probably about a month ago, we went back to doing live Zooms four nights a week. Guys, those Zooms are working every single night. Every single night when, you, when new prospects come on, they watch the presentation, they watch you guys telling your stories and new prospects join up. We did a presentation 45 minutes ago and the presentation lasted for 15 minutes and I spoke to one of our guys who isn't on here right now, um, but he had a prospect on and his prospect is getting, getting into the business. Every single night. You have to plug into those things. Just like Brandon said, events do it for people because they don't just see me talking, Brandon talking, or you talking with the best will in the world. When it's your friends and your relatives see you talking about this, your friends and your relatives have seen you do dumb things all your life. You know, my best friend has known me for a long, long time. He's seen me do some his hysterically dumb things and I don't hold huge amounts of credibility with him on certain things but when he sees other people and he sees relatively simple stories you know you guys some of you guys don't think that your story is special enough your story is special enough your story can change someone else's life because a new prospect can come on and take a look at it and think wow if they can do that I can do that and it can change their lives as well so use these events. So tomorrow night, we have our last event before Christmas. So just as Brandon said, he's, he's finishing tomorrow, we're finishing tomorrow. Let's plug as many people as we possibly can onto tomorrow night's call. And let's make it another absolute stunner. Guys, I love working with you guys. I will see you all at the same time tomorrow. Brandon, thank you very, very much for your time. See you soon, guys. Bye, everyone.